I'm Emily with another brief grief activity from the team. Are you having some hard or big feelings or maybe some bad dreams? Today we're going to make pillowcase covers to try to set some of those bad dreams or big feelings free. Lots of kids tell us when they're grieving they feel sad, angry, lonely, overwhelmed, worried. They wonder why me or what else could happen? There are so many thoughts and feelings and everybody's different. There's not one right or wrong way to think and feel about them. With so many thoughts and feelings floating around in our minds and bodies though, it can be hard to slow down and sleep sometimes. Whether you're having bad dreams or so much energy from some of these big feelings, these positive pillowcases we're going to make today should help. For this activity, you'll need a plain pillowcase, Sharpies or fabric markers, and something so that the markers don't show through. This could be a piece of paper, wax paper, or cardboard, anything you have at home. To make a positive pillow, on one side, we're gonna write or draw some of those hard and messy feelings or memories that we have. On the other side, we're gonna write or draw some of the positive ways that we can take care of ourselves. This pillow gives us a space to take some of those big or uncomfortable feelings and then flip the pillow over to have a lighter mind and heart as we go to sleep. So let's get into the activity. We're going to start with the side that we want to get out some of those messy or difficult or big feelings that we have. Here is where you can draw pictures, designs, or words that help you release feelings. Is there a memory that's hard or something that makes you angry? We know that for some of us, there are memories we don't like with our person or that don't make us feel comforted, which can bring up mixed feelings. This is part of what makes us human, that each of our relationships are unique. On this side of your pillowcase is where you can write or draw about something you may be upset at your person for, or feelings about how your life has changed since they've died. We may have uncomfortable memories that we don't like, and this is a chance to get out some of those memories. Is there something you wish people wouldn't say to you? Or is there a dream you have that you don't like? Write or draw a picture of it. Or you can pick colors that represent your feelings. Maybe you're angry and you choose red to show this on your pillow. Are there some things you are really worried about? This is a great place to draw or write some of your worries. Or you could draw a big target on your pillowcase. If you have a lot of big energy, you could try hitting or punching the target to get some of your feelings out. This side is all about releasing any uncomfortable or big feelings, memories, or thoughts. There's no right or wrong way to release your feelings on this pillowcase. Now, let's flip the pillowcase over to the other side. On this side, we're going to write words or draw pictures of things that make us feel better. Maybe this is writing a positive message to yourself you can always come to read. Or writing out all your amazing qualities that make you, you. You could draw dreams you want to have, memories that make you feel good, or the space you imagine you could go to meet your person again. Or you could draw places that you feel happy and calm. You can write all the things you like to do when you're having a hard day that make you feel better, or write things that are going well right now. This side of the pillowcase is also a good chance to write or draw any memories with your person that make you feel good, maybe trips or games you've played. You could draw or write some of the people you like to spend time with or that you feel you can talk to on hard days. This side is all about creating a positive space for you to lay your head on. This pillow is a place where you can take those big feelings to, but also a place to remember all the ways that you take care of yourself. Because everyone has uncomfortable feelings sometimes, and it's helpful to get them out before we try to settle our bodies down to sleep. We hope that by making a positive pillowcase, you feel lighter from sharing some of these feelings and created a comforting space to lay your head on and take a break from some of these big feelings. 
we would love to see what you've created at home. You can email us at art at griefcenter.org to send a picture of your positive pillowcase or any of the other brief grief activities. Thanks for being with us today. We know that being with grief feelings can be hard, especially if you're feeling alone. So remember to reach out to a caring adult if you need support or kids help phone at any time. Join us next week for another brief grief activity. Thanks for watching.